As previously mentioned, when a person falls into cold water, their body experiences a variety of physiological responses affected by both the temperature of the water and the amount of time they are exposed to the water. Initial immersion, cold water shock. If a person falls into cold water, their body's initial reaction is a gasp reflex, which can include hyperventilation and muscle spasms. This initial reaction can result in water inhalation as well as significant changes in heart rate and blood pressure. These initial effects are present for the first two or three minutes of immersion. Short-term immersion, impaired function. In cold water, you may begin to experience the loss of basic motor skills after only a few minutes in the water. After anywhere between 3 and 30 minutes of immersion, a person's hands quickly begin to lose strength and sensation. Subsequently, a person's ability to swim will also be affected, regardless of skill level. In cold water immersion cases, boaters often drown as a result of swimming failure before hypothermia ever has the chance to set in. Longer term immersion hypothermia. Following 30 or more minutes of immersion, hypothermia, a drop in body temperature below the normal level, will begin to set in. The person's overall body temperature will continue to drop until it has reached the same temperature as the water. Hypothermia symptoms range from mild to severe. As the body's core temperature falls, a person will eventually lapse into unconsciousness. Close rescue collapse. A drop in blood pressure, which may lead a person to become unconscious or to stop breathing at the point of rescue or up to several hours afterward.